It's Friday. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Give everybody a few minutes to come in and join me on this holiday Friday. Welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. Are we busy preparing for Easter or Passover? Yes. Welcome, everybody. Happy Friday. Yes, Miss Dawn. Happy Friday. It is, it's been a steady day at the, here at the cold shop, but it's been kind of slow. That's okay. Miss Amy's moving slow. <laughs> Not going to lie. Um, I don't know. Today is, I don't know if the grain, the grain, the rain and, or the, in La Plata, we've got no rain. Okay. None, nothing last night, not one drop. Okay, so it's just gray and nasty outside. I've had no caffeine yet today. I slept terrible last night. So I am doing great. Don't mind the bags under the eyes. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Friday. Yeah, I saw that hail, Miss Dawn. We got nothing. It got pitch black up here. It got scary. I was kind of glad that I didn't stay to teach class last night and that I chose to record it for you guys instead because I'm like, I'm gonna, I don't wanna have all this equipment on and uh, pat lightning strike. So, um, and you, especially for you guys in St. Mary's County, I'm glad you didn't have your machines on, but yes. Hello, hello, Miss Sharon, hello again, Miss Sharon and Miss Janelle. Uh, Miss Kathy, hello. Yes, hi, Miss Lori. Welcome. I'm just going to say here first, thank you everybody for joining us last Saturday. Hi, Miss Linda. How's Hawaii? I'm so jealous. Is she there in Hawaii? Yes, she says hi from Hawaii. Mom says hi. Is she loving it? Are you loving Hawaii? <laughs> hi, Miss Pam again. Oh, hi, Miss Kathleen. Oh, good morning tomorrow. Good, good morning tomorrow. Yes, from Samoa. Oh, I'm so... Is it warm? Is it warm? <laughs> Please tell me it's warm, Miss Linda, Miss, Ka Miss Kathleen, as we lost our warm weather. It's cold today. Oh, Miss Linda's loving it, Mom. Uh, I want to go. She's so happy. She's like, I want to go now. There's my next bucket list trip. Our next bucket list, Hawaii. <laughs> there is a Disney resort there, so I do have an excuse to go. <laughs> Yes, welcome. But anyway, <coughs> sidetracked. Um, thank you to everybody who joined us last Saturday for our birthday. It was a great day. Um, it was, it's been a, saw a lot of faces um, that we haven't seen in a while. And I know a lot of you guys have seen people you haven't seen in a while that you just miss in passing. And um, that type of thing. So it was just great to hear all the chatter and everything that was going on in the store. We all enjoyed hot dogs. We all had good cake, pretzels. So it was a good day. And thanks for those that weren't able to make it on Saturday, um, that don't live local or weren't able to come, that shared the birthday love with us on um, Sunday. <laughs> the hot dogs were good. I did get a lot of comments about them hot dogs. And all I did was cook them in the oven. <clears throat> yes. So we had a great, um, a great weekend. Um, Mom and I um, came down on Sunday and worked. Um, <laughs> came down and worked on Sunday, pulling all the orders, cleaning. Um, yes, cleaning up and straightening things up and reordering things and getting everything back in stock. So yes, it's, it did exactly miss, miss Danette. It was like the party we've been waiting for, for the past three years. And it was a great one. Miss Wendy Lee, your table came this afternoon. FedEx brought it. 
shortly after you left. Miss Debbie Thomas, your foot is here now as well, but enjoy your weekend in Virginia. Um, so yes, it was great. It really was. So we are waiting for things to restock from the weekend. So specifically Annie's stuff. Um, all the buy Annie patterns, zippers and notions, all that stuff, soft and stable, vinyl, um, all went flying out of here on the weekend. Uh, we'll be restocking. Oh, oh, you're welcome, Miss Linda. Yes, all the all the online orders got birthday goodies as well. So I'm glad that um, that you enjoyed it, Miss Linda. But all the Annie's patterns will um, be restocking later this week. So for those of you that are in upcoming classes with me, uh, case in point and stash and dash, those patterns will be back in stock as well. Um, but they're all coming. The bags are all still here. Um, they'll be here until the end of the month. So if you weren't able to make it last weekend or this weekend, they'll still be here the following weekend. And I will be doing a virtual kind of trunk show walkthrough um, on all the bags, talking about my favorites, which ones we like to do. I'll answer any questions that you have. Um, if there's anything you'd like to see, um, please let me know. I will also talk about uh, mesh and fold over elastic and how we work with that. I'll demonstrate her new basting tape, um, which I used last night, not in an Annie's bag, but it came in real handy. It was very nice. And it didn't take me forever and a day to peel the paper off of the other sticky side. So <laughs> if anybody's ever used any other product, know that once you get it on, it's like trying to get that paper off the other end is takes you forever. This did not take me forever. Hello, Miss Jackie, Miss Crystal. Um, so it was really, um, really nice. So I'll show you that finished bag when we go to walk. We only have a few things to talk about. So I'm gonna talk about a couple updates first and then I'm gonna get up and walk um, around and show you the few new things. The first thing is one queen of diamonds. There's been a huge renewed interest in this project since we're now starting to talk about it because it's getting close to starting here in June. Um, there are people that are now interested in joining us for Queen of Diamonds. Unfortunately, at the moment, we are at capacity. Um, I am trying to get more fabric kits. Uh, we are on a list. Um, we're at the very top of the list, but we're hoping that we can convince them to cut some more fabrics. <laughs> well, Miss Dawn, I have somebody that'll take your kit if you change your mind. <laughs> um, so I do, I do have a wait list. So if you are interested in Queen of Diamonds, or maybe those of you that are already in Queen of Diamonds and are contemplating your decisions, <laughs> um, I do have people that will um, easily step into your space if you're chickening out on us. <laughs> um, but... Um, if you are interested in Queen of Diamonds, and please reach out to me to join our waitlist so that I can make sure that I get you on that waitlist and I can make sure that the moment I can get my hands on kits, I can tell them the exact number that I need and then I don't um, get you left behind um, again. So that's the first thing. Queen of Diamonds. Um, with Queen of Diamonds as well, papers and acrylics aren't going to be coming either until the fabric stuff starts to come. So um, we the pre-order is still up if you are in Queen of Diamonds and have not yet pre-ordered your papers or acrylics. Acrylics are not required. Papers are. Okay. So you have to have the papers in order to do the project. Otherwise, it's just going to, the fabric's just going to sit there because you're not going to be able to do the project. Um, the acrylic templates are for helping you fussy cut and or cutting out your papers, uh, excuse me, cutting out your fabric the exact size um, we need to do. Getting there, Miss Crystal. Next words out of my mouth. So that is still up online. You can just search Queen of Diamonds on the website and the two pre-orders will pop up. It's just a deposit. 
So you're basically putting in a reservation um, and that will, oh, don't apologize, Miss Crystal, it's okay. You just, you're helping me remember. Um, that deposit will be put towards the price of the project when it comes in. So everything's in the descriptions there for you. Now, <clears throat> the case in point is the bag that we are <coughs> doing, uh, the first bag that we're doing. As you, if you watched any of the Annie's, I think yesterday was part three of her um, bags dedicated, her theming dedicated to Queen of Diamonds. Um, we're going to start with case in point. <laughs> yes, Miss Dawn is questioning first bag. Well, it's the first one that we're going to, we're going to do. There'll be other bags that I teach after this one that could also be used for Queen of Diamonds. But case in point, there will be another hands-on class offered for that in May, um, probably mid-May. Um, so watch for that once I get to working on that particular uh, calendar. So there will be another set of um, classes. Uh, there is a virtual case in point online. It's still up and available, Miss Sandy. Um, that is the end of this month. Um, it's two sessions and then there's a hands-on that's full at the moment but we will be offering I will be offering another one so yes okay that's Queen of Diamonds the other thing Tula Pink is Everglow is not shipping yet it's getting there it will be very shortly um, so it will be arriving at some point in time this month um, so Everglow will be coming soon completely separate than Queen of Diamonds. Um, so yes, there lots of lots of Tula. Thread is starting to come. There's all sorts of all sorts of things. There is not a dedicated thread kit that I am aware of um, from uh, for Queen of Diamonds. okay There are thread sets associated with the collection Everglow, but there is nothing Tula pink, uh, assembled or curated for um, Queen of Diamonds. Okay, um, so it's kind of with 91 fabrics that could, if you're going to match your threads to fabrics, it's um, a lot of thread. But I'm going to do most of this in neutral um, because you shouldn't be able to see your stitching. Um, so yeah, the neons and neutrals. Uh, thread sets are um, up for pre-order. I think the well, I think the only thing I have left in pre-order are the three custom neon colors. Um, it's the three neon color spools that are um, only available in that set with um, coordinate with Everglow. Okay. With that, let's go for a walk because. I have a couple of new fabrics, not much. It's a quiet season here um, at Material Girls, but it will all come rolling in. Hi, Miss Deanne, better late than never, it's okay. Um, there'll be lots of Everglow and lots of fabric coming in very shortly. Now that we are um, working past Easter here, the next holiday in the go around specifically related to quilting themed um, beyond Mother's Day and Father's Day. We have Memorial Day, um, 4th of July. So patriotic fabric is what is currently rolling in to the quilt shop. We did receive a few bolts of a collection called Patchwork Americana. And <clears throat> so this is um, the piece that my hand was on today. This comes from um, p and textiles just lost my train of thought so that's the floral there is a tone on tone and it's not super red as you can tell I mean it's got some red in it but it's definitely more cherry <clears throat> and then we have a cute little white creamy white with a um, creamy swirl and star and then the larger piece here that has the patchwork United States, patchwork letters, patchwork hearts um, that are in there. They are pretty large scale, uh, America Strong, 
just so you can see that United States is about the size of my hand. Um, pretty, pretty large. So, <clears throat> and what's really great is this piece, I think works really well with that floral. So lots of it. So patriotic fabrics are rolling back into the store for the season. We did receive two new 108, um, 108 inch wide white on whites. Um, came in this week as well. Let's get my hand out here so that I can show you what it is. So have, if you can see, this is a leaf, white on white um, leaf. It's about, eh, probably about a good two and a half inches long. And then we have a, just a little more modern uh, sketch, little polka dot, overlapping dots. Um, different places. Um, uh, again, white on whites in 108. So if you are looking on online, pull links for everything today to drop here. If you go to the website, materialgirlsquilt.com, scroll down about a third of the way down and you will find the what's new section and it's all right there for you. All in one nice place. Patterns, we have one new pattern, and that pattern is, I, Miss Lisa, Miss Lisa M, this is gonna be your next thing. I just, I see it. Okay, I'm gonna move you on from ropes into some more boxes. <laughs> so, this new pattern is called Cozy Nesting Boxes. Here, let me flip this around so that you can actually read what it says. So they are um, three rectangles and three squares, okay? They have a box with a removable lid. Aren't they just so cute? They're just adorable. Um, and so Cozy Nesting Boxes is the new, the new pattern. It does use Annie's foam. Uh, the soft and stable foam is the... Um, foam stabilizer that is used in this project. So, nesting boxes. If you're not into doing nesting baskets, which are the round ones from Annie's, maybe we now shift to boxes. I think they would be cute gifts. Um, making backpacks. Now this is not a new pattern, it is a pattern um, that we've had here at the store, but I just finished a class. I had great in-person students and very patient um, virtual students who um, dealt with me being a crazy woman yesterday with postponing and then having to cancel class and then dealing with the recording on Wednesday because on Wednesday they were working in the studio um, putting in all the overhead cameras um, and running all the wires and things like that. So they were up above and it was a mess. So the making backpacks pattern is a very beginner friendly project. Okay. So if, um, her instructions are fabulous there, um, there's no quilting in it. It only has two pieces of Annie soft and stable that get put into the project after you've assembled everything but I thought I would show you. So here is this little rectangular backpack. So super cute. It has two handles, okay? It also has adjustable straps, has a pocket. I put a mag magnetic pocket on the front and then the inside has a zipper pocket on the inside and this is where I used the basting tape last night. We make, the way this pocket is made is we actually, there's a, a just a lining in there, um, but you make your little hole and then you lay it on top of the zipper and then you need to top stitch around it. And so you really can't pin it um, and that will, by that basting tape holding it in place, um, it will 
keep it without it shifting and you can keep a nice straight zipper. So this is my new little sewing backpack. I think it, and I think it, it's going to hold a pretty big, um, he's about 16 inches tall. What is he? 15 inches tall, 11 and a half inches wider. Yes, it's way bigger than what you think it's going to be. And so it was going to hold a pretty good size laptop if you um, are looking for something to carry your laptop in. My lap, my, my current laptop's not nearly that big anymore, but back in the day, um, it would. And yes, it would hold a lot of Mickey-shaped snacks. <laughs> Lots of snacks could fit in that. Big water bottle um, would hold in there too. So that is the making backpacks. I thought I would just share that um, finished project since I got it done. It would hold a 15 inch tall roll of stabilizer for embroidery. <laughs> we also have received in the notions department. One second, let me bend over and pick it up. Okay. I have talked about starching in the past. Okay. We, um, I have a couple, there's a video up on YouTube under beautiful day block of the month that video one, we talk about starching and cutting and really like starching stiff. And so there is a method of doing that, but you know, starching and constantly pulling that trigger or pressing down on the aerosol can, can be a little, you know, tiresome on you. So we have acorn um, makes a fabric treatment. Okay. So it is like a starch. It's a pr easy press treatment, but they also have a rechargeable electronic misting sprayer. So you fill your bottle up and you just push, hold, push the button on to click it on and it sprays a fine mist for you. So no more pulling triggers forever, you can get your mister and um, spray all your starch. When your gun needs recharge, you just recharge it. <laughs> that's there. And that's if I'm doing like massive starching. I'm not going to use this at my ironing board for, you know, maybe you will. But for me, if I'm starching uh, yardage and things like that, uh, prior to doing my rotary cutting um, is where I would use this little guy. We used to, um, you'll see, not used to, up on my Amazon page, you can find these, but they were meant for like um, bug spray and things along that line. So we use the same, the same concept for watering plants. Um, I think, yes, you could... I wouldn't use Tyrael Magic in it, or I wouldn't use Fabric Boost, but any spray um, spray starch uh, liquid should be fine. I haven't tested it, but it, I just know Tyrael Magic is too um, thick is the wrong word for it, but it is definitely uh, stickier um, than, than others. But as long as it's like the consistency of your magic starch, your best press, things like that. It should be just fine. Yep. Okay. So I'm going to quickly say hello to, thank you, Miss Stephanie, viscous, viscous. That's what I want. It is, it's thick, but the thickness of Tyrael magic, it doesn't, it doesn't flow like viscosity. That's the word I was looking for, Miss Stephanie. Uh, <laughs> I could not think of it. Um, look at all you smart people just throwing me that word. Um, so let me say hello to my little people and then we're going to wrap, we're going to wrap up Friday night live. I told you it was going to be a short one. It's been a, it's been a, a little week, um, here at the quilt shop. So Grady, Layton, Spencer, and Violet. Mimi says hi. She'll see you on Sunday. 
I have Abby, Emma, Ian, Owen, and Luke. We have Sammy, Alexander, Miss McKenzie. I have um, Sage, Leah, Ryder, Cecilia, um, Aubrey, Camden, Mary Catherine, John Robert, who I got to see, what a precious little boy, um, who came to hang out for the birthday. And I am uh, so excited. And hello, Miss Mary Catherine again. Miss Amy missed you um, at the birthday. But you were building a birdhouse with daddy, so good, some good daddy time. Um, and Mr. Daniel and Mr. Austin. I hope everybody has a great um, visit from the Easter Bunny and finds lots of Easter eggs uh, this weekend. Now, this weekend, first, happy Easter, happy Passover, okay? And we uh, hope that you have a wonderful weekend. We have regular hours here at Material Girls this weekend. Um, Saturday, 9.30 to 3, and Monday, we're open 9.30 to 5.30. So if you are off for the holiday, come give us a visit. <laughs> Crystal, I'll have to do that next year. We'll have to get some, some eggs and stuff them with uh, sewing goodies um, for here on the counter. And we'll have to have an Easter egg hunt. Remind me. Remind me next February. <laughs> we'll have an egg hunt. A sewer and quilters egg hunt. I think that's a good idea. Uh, tomorrow we are here hanging out in the store all day till three. I'm going to be in the Bernina showroom all day here playing with sergers. Um, this month is uh, serger month in the world of material girls and in the world of Bernina and machines. And we're going to, I'm going to be over here playing. We're going to look at some feet and things like that. We are starting off um, <clears throat> the uh, 48 months no interest financing starts tomorrow. Goes through the 12th. Okay. It doesn't have to be a surgery. It can be on anything, Bernina. Okay. But I will be here uh, answering your questions. So if you, you know, all made on the surgery. If you have any questions about a serger, an overlocker, what it does, how it does it, um, come by. Let me show you how it air threads and all that um, thing. So I'm here all day tomorrow hanging out um, in, the, in the Bernina room. Just come out and keep me company. I would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> and we will show you why you need one of these machines in your life. Um, so... Uh, Miss Pam asked if I baked Easter cookies. No, I have not baked any cookies. Um, I do need to bake cookies. I have Miss Violet's baptism um, is coming up, and I have cookies to bake for that. And I believe my sister volunteered me to bake cookies for teacher's appreciation. So I have cookies to bake for that as well. But I have definitely... Since November, haven't baked any cookies, so it is time to get back into the kitchen. But I hope that all of you have a great rest of your weekend. Have a great holiday. Again, happy Easter, happy Passover, and look forward to seeing you all very soon. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of your Friday to hang out with me. And I will see you all here back here next week for another little update. And stay tuned because I'll be not in the store next week. Amy's going to be on assignment in another location. So, but I'll be back in time to do Friday Night Live from inside the store. But I'll share some things from my adventures um, this coming week. So, thank you guys. You have a great rest of your weekend. And we'll see you real soon.